morning. I'm Tony, and I'm with Maple Leaf Quilting Company. Today we're going to talk about red snappers. These are a great way to attach your quilt to your leaders without using pins. When you order your package, you'll get it depending on the size of your table, either 10, 12, or 14 foot. And in your package, you're going to get nine hollow rods like this. You get nine of these. You get some little screws. You get long pieces of the top. You also get the two foot ones and then two inch little tiny ones, six of those. The first thing you're gonna need to do is to put your rods together. So those little screws, you just put one end in and it looks like that. And then you screw the other end in. You don't need any tools. You can just do it with your hands. It gets a little tight at the end, but that's good. Because once they're together, they don't come apart again. The next thing you need to do is you get your leader. If your leader doesn't have a little pocket like this, then you can just sew one in your other ones. It works great. So we've got three hollow rods together and we're just gonna slide them right along the end of our leader. There we go. And don't worry if it sticks out a little bit at the end, that's quite common. And it doesn't get in the way of anything when you're quilting. We just like to hold it up with, the snap, with these uh, clamps so that it keeps it there. The next, you're, so you're gonna do that to the bottom leader and then you're also gonna do it to your take up leader. And then you're ready to go. So we're gonna get our quilt back going to lay it on. And the first thing we're going to do is grab our two inch little clamps. So we're going to use the two inch clamps just to hold the backing on there till we can get the long ones in place. Just put one in the center and then one on each end. If your backing is much more than 60 or 70 inches, you might need to use five of these just to keep it in place. I like to line up the end of the fabric with the end of my little pocket. It just helps me have a good straight reference point. Then, depending on the width again of your backing, you're either gonna use two or three of these or a combination. And then because it's hollow like that with the clamp, you just snap it on. Hold your hand. If you bend it back a little bit, that helps to open it up when they're new. And then you just remove the two inch clamps as you go. And now I've got only got this much distance, so the little two inch one work or two foot one works really well and then a couple little ones at the end. So that's the bottom, way faster than using the pins. So now, we're gonna roll this up. And now for the top part, we don't need the little two inch clamps because we don't have to worry about it falling off. We're just gonna pull this out. Make sure that there's no gaps between your backing fabric and your leader. And I like to just use my thumbs and push the rod in so that it's all the way to the end like that. It does, it's not very nice if you end up with a little bit of fabric here because it twists. So now we're gonna do the same thing with the long one. Gonna start here. And I'm just gonna grab another two foot. Oh, that's gonna be a little short back here. 
So we'll just use a long one. And it doesn't matter if it sticks off the end, you just clamp it on and there we go. It's all done. We finish rolling it on. And there you go. Just like that, red snappers, they're pretty great.